it's been really quite exciting and rewarding at times uh, doing this uh, here at the Dock Street Theater. I've met some incredible musicians, some amazing players, people who are absolutely world class at the top of their game. ETV Radio has been supporting Spoleto Festival here since the very beginning. It allows us to put some interesting and, and groundbreaking uh, music many times um, on the radio and as, a, as an ETV radio production, which is pretty cool when you think about it. I mean, you know, we're doing this. It's not like it's coming from Boston or San Francisco or somewhere else. Although the musicians are mostly from New York and worldwide, and these are world-class people that are playing these concerts. Um, but we're doing it, which is, is kind of cool. Not just putting money towards the production, we're actually doing the production. I think the primary role of radio is, is to introduce the public to things and experiences and music and things that they wouldn't have the opportunity to get to ordinarily. Um, so that's why I feel like what we're doing here is as much a service as anything else because we're serving uh, the people of South Carolina, giving them the opportunity to hear stuff, that, hear things and, and experience things at least through radio, uh, through their ears, um, that they wouldn't have the opportunity to get to ordinarily. The Spoleto Today experience is 12 hours a day, seven days a week. You start a week before the festival and you go until you can't go anymore. We have managed to build up a small but wonderful staff. And Jeanette is the co-host and uh, I'm the talking head sometimes because I talk too much. And so we're very lucky that we do do a lot of hard work but it's shared between a lot of people who have a common goal in mind and we all have a great time doing it. I hope the shows reflect some of that pleasure we take. Are you saying you don't work as hard as me? <laughs> well, it is really great to have some colleagues to spread the, spread the work around and it really increases and raises the quality of the show, I think. I love the opportunity to see what made the art happen what somebody's background is, what their childhood was, why they did what they're doing, and to me that makes seeing the performance so much richer. And we get the opportunity to talk to some of the people behind the scenes in the Spoleto Festival. They may not be visible, you may never see many of them, but without them the festival wouldn't take place. And then we get to talk to people like uh, Mayor Riley. We get to talk to Nigel Redden, who is the head of Spoleto Festival USA. We get to talk to Scott Watson, who runs the Charleston Office of Cultural Affairs. So we get a chance to see where all the scenes of the festival get put together. What makes it look so easy on the outside results from the work of a lot of people. We have a handful of arts management students who help us with the production. Uh, they take the uh, Maymester course and end up scheduling our interviews, doing some of the background research, and engineering our recordings. I think it's a really nice partnership between ETV Radio and the College of Charleston that enables great training for the students and enables us to keep our costs down in production. ETV reaches listeners in three states, and a lot of those people will never come to the Spoleto Festival. I want Spoleto today to be a taste of the festival for them. Even if they couldn't come here, I want them to feel that they have visited and experienced the Spoleto Festival. That's what Spoleto today is all about.